the ballad of Mushroom Cow. There was a land I once heard tell, twas christened Mushroom Down. The folk who lived there loved it well, and never left their town. They stayed there from the hour of birth until the day they died. They never cared for any oath except their mushroom pride. They made their homes beneath the caps of fungi wide and tall. And when time came for tea, perhaps a neighbor came to call. And while they sat in shade serene, offered cream and cakes, they talked of things they'd never seen beyond the mushroom lakes. They did not wish to journey there, they were contented so, but past the mossy bank somewhere lie what they did not know. More curious, they grew by day, and still more so by night. They wondered if there were a way to take a mushroom flight. Tormented by this new desire, more restless they became, and many began to conspire on blueprints for a thing. A brilliant flying vehicle with mushroom caps and string. One judge proved astronomical and built the very few. And so the day arrived at last on which the plane should board. The celebration went far past what they could best afford. But they were folks of never lose, and when the cakes were drained, in unison arose their gaze, and on the stroke, it rained. Now in the history of the town, no soul had ever seen a flood the likes of which poured down upon the mushroom green. A gathering was held betwixt the elders late that night, and even their votes were unmixed. We must postpone the flight. The disappointment through the land was more than some would bear, for their own world once thought so grand, they did no longer care. To say the least, it was a shame to see the people act as though they'd lost their hope, their flame, and their poor plan was sad. But still the rain continued on for more than fifty days. The mushroom store was almost gone, in dreamt of sunshine rays. And that's when they began to seize their thoughts of other towns. If only this storm would decrease, they'd cherish mushroom bounds. That night was spent in black and steep, no star was seen to shine. When the morning broke their sleep, they saw a sight divine. The rain was nowhere to be found. The sky was fresh and clear. Hurrahs of joy for miles around were all one could hear. And what is more, the earth was by the trees of the And many hymns of praise were sung. No one spoke of flight. And so at last the ballad ends with happiness sublime. And so the story goes, my friends, that is.